Welcome back to the series where I make a fool of myself for you because I don't know how to use the software that I'm about to mess with. No, no, what the, no, stop it, no, what the, are there layers, like, is it B? No, is it Q? Hi, I'm Sir Wade, I'm a Maya 3D animator, and I don't really know how to use Blender all that well. And today we're diving into the Grease Pencil, which I'm very excited about because it's actually the reason that I even downloaded Blender in the first place. And in case you have watched any of my videos before, first of all, I've got a beard now, that's new. Another thing that's new, not this backdrop, because this is the office that, no. Ha ha! Psych, gotcha. So yeah, I moved back to LA, and if you wanna know more about that, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Patreon where I do more updates. Let me turn this off. Anyways, moving on to the Grease Pencil, something that as we open the Blender Studio page, says we need a decent graphics card for. So Hi. this, oh, hey, it's Benjamin, the sponsor frog. What's up, bud? Where's the fella find a GPU? I'm so glad you asked. Well, as Benjamin was implying, this video is sponsored by Micro Center. Now the grease pencil's not particularly hard on your computer system, but as you probably know, that's not accurate for everything else in 3D and digital art. Which is why with both remote working and remote learning being such a big part of our lives, Micro Center has computers and laptops for everybody's needs. So get all your holiday shopping done in one place and bypass having to wait for online deliveries and go find a Micro Center store near you. Which if you enjoy looking at tech is something you should probably wanna do anyways, because this place is just a giant candy store for people who love tech. They've got the best prices and they price match within reason with the standard terms, which is great. Knowledgeable and friendly associates to help you out and they can even help you assemble a custom built PC in the store for a fee if you've never done that before and you'd like some oversight or some help. And if you're a new customer, grab the coupon from the description link and Micro Center will give you a free 128 gig flash drive and micro SD card, which is perfect for all those new Switch games you may be picking up. <clears throat> Metroid. Hmm. If you can't make it to a store, join their online community and chat with other enthusiasts to learn how to choose or build a PC for yourself. Link in the description for all of that as well. Thank you, Micro Center, for sponsoring this video, and thank you, Benjamin, for being here to be a part of it. Thanks for having me. Nice guy. All right, with that, let's jump into the Grease Pencil. There's a bunch of sample scenes here. This one's really cool. I wanna dissect some of what Blender has given us. I see a bunch of keyframes that don't continue on, so they must be looping. So are these, oh, they're real objects. Okay, look at these objects actually moving through space. That's so cool. If I understand it properly, each of these objects has to be a grease pencil stroke object, right? Is that, is that accurate? So if I go to the graph editor, will I see the object? Yeah, okay. So that's legitimately all it is. It's just a grease pencil stroke. Oh, I think I broke him. Okay, I don't know how I, what did I do? What did I do to break? I didn't even do anything. How did he stop working? Somebody tell me what I did that broke his cycle. Cause I don't, I don't know what happened. Hey, I remember this one. This is from the, f I understand it so much better now. I looked at this, the first Blender video I did when I was trying to figure out how to even move around. I remember I couldn't even figure out how to navigate through the scene at the time. I don't know how anything works. I'm giving up on that. Now I can kind of move around and now I can fully appreciate how this has been put together. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this dude's like popping in and out of existence. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but that's all right. What is up with this version? Is this an old version of Blender? Like what, where are my icons? I'm so confused. Oh no, what am I doing? Whoa, what am I doing? What am I doing? What is this? Oh, I'm in face, I'm editing the faces of the house. New file to the animation. Let's start there. I can draw, oh, why is it so light? Strength. Oh, hold up. Turn that off, pressure sensitivity working. I'm drawing on that. So if I draw circles, if I go over here and draw a circle, it's gonna be weird, right? Oh my gosh, that's so trippy. So I have a cube and I am gonna add a grease pencil object that's empty because, wait, 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 before I do that, is there like a convert to grease pencil? Oh, sorry, that was loud. So wait, what does that make? What does that do exactly? Suzanne, the monkey, a grease pencil, Suzanne. But what happens if I take Suzanne here and I convert her to grease pencil? Ugh. Is there, no, no, what the, no, stop it. No, what the, is it B? No, is it Q? How do I open this menu? Are there layers? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, what the, cube fill. Oh, materials, A, materials, which live here? Yes. What am I drawing on? What am I drawing on? Are they just on the, oh, I'm drawing on the view. So I'm not drawing on a specific canvas. I'm drawing on the viewport. Okay, it's lined up at origin. Is that right? Am I, what am I based around? I don't understand. Oh no, they're here.
Look it, it's a light bulb. And now it's, uh, it's my little campfire. I will warm my... I just had an idea, actually. <laughs> I actually did just have an idea though. I have a great idea. Delete, grease pencil, blank. Then I want material, right? I need to create a stroke material. Base color can be black for now, that's fine. Draw mode, grease pencil, onion, the canvas. A. why is it not working? Why is it no available frame for creating stroke? Why? Oh, I need a layer, right? Do I need, how do I, all right, let's learn. 2D animation, don't save. What does it put me in? It puts me in, the heck is this? What, what is it, dope sheet? It's dope sheet. Um, uh, I get it. And then now I can do grease pencils. I go to draw mode and then I open this. And then this I turn to the dope sheet and the dope sheet I expand that and I turn this from dope sheet to grease pencil. Yes, haha, -ha! yes. And then I take the line and I delete it because I don't care. And then I make a new layer. Oh, and it came with a bunch of materials because I did it the other way. All right, sweet. Okay, great, yes. Front canvas. So this shows me where I'm drawing. So now it's, it's there. And if I were to change this to here, then I'd be drawing on this thing. Got it, I'm a genius, I'm happy with this. Okay, I'm going to draw a fire, and then I'll draw frame two. How do you draw a fire? I kind of skipped this step. I don't actually know how to animate fire. Can I draw a straight line? What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Oh, I told it, I, oh, that's cool. I tried to hold shift because I thought holding shift like in Photoshop would help me make a straight line, but it makes this little red like leash and it's like a curve helper. I didn't know that. Okay, so holding shift like takes the, takes the grease pencil on a walk. What's control do? Oh, it's the eraser. What does alt do? Alt is kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, all right, that'll work. Two frames later, I want onion skin. There's that. Why is it? Oh wait, auto key? How do I turn auto key on? Timeline, turn on auto key. Now does it work? Hey, I figured it out. I'm good at this for now. No, there's an add-on that I know about. Tools, grease pencil tools. Ah uh ha -huh. I can scrub in the timeline by holding Alt and middle mouse and I can now move around. Not that it really looks like much right now, but if I go like this and then I scrub, then you can see it. So what I'm gonna try and do right now is try to figure out how to draw fire. I don't actually know what I'm doing, so. Copy, paste, paste, paste. There's probably a better way to do that, to cycle things. I don't know how to do it, so. <laughs> that looks awful. Okay, well that's my fire. Fill layer, colors. Oh, I should have just done this with a, I'm an idiot. You are so dumb. That's okay. Cause I'm just gonna kind of draw the general shape with the fill tool. I don't care if it's perfect. I'm gonna do an emission thingy. Can I just do the rendered? It doesn't look like it works. Hang on, I can't tell if this is even working. What happens if I just do this as a normal object? Yeah, that works. Can I not do that here? Can a grease pencil object not like give off light if I can't do what I was going to do. Wait, use lights. Oh, wait, so maybe shaders can't affect it, but lights can. So if I take a point light, oh, that's really cool. So you can actually light. So technically I could just do something like this. That's actually pretty cool. Area light. Let's take an area light. That's pretty sweet. I was going to try an effect, stroke effect. Yes, a glow. I was gonna try glow, I was gonna try orange. Okay, so that's cool, it'll glow on its own, but I wanted it to affect the surrounding area. So it doesn't look like I can do that. Someone let me know if I'm wrong and if you can do that. And if I can't do that, then that's a request, that's a feature request for, for the devs. Because I'd love to have grease pencils objects so that you could like make them emissive or something and actually generate lights from them. Cause how cool would that be? That's really odd. That seems like an interesting drawing artifact. I'm gonna just call that like a moderate I don't know if I call it a success, but like, hey, I tried it. So I'm gonna try something different. I wanna draw on mesh. Is it shift right click the cursor? Yeah, okay. Grease pencil blank. Then I go to draw mode. Stroke, no, 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 no. Stroke placement cursor, but drawing plane front. Cube, cube, cube. And I could change the side. Oh, it so works. For the side, I'll do like a blurple. Oh, but I can go to edit mode, right? And I can, I can adjust. Scale in Z. Ha ha, ha ha. Shift, right click. Oh, how cool is this? Change it to a green. Wait, 
Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm using the same material. There. Hey, there we go. Oh, uh, what did I do? Maybe it's that the cube is just in the way. Ah, oh, the cube's just in the way. Maybe? Oh, no, I do know what's going on. It's the order, it's the order that I made the things. I'm seeing the top on top because I did the top after doing the green and the blue one. So they're taking priority. <laughs> okay, he's really kind of Luigi height, but I don't care. <laughs> Uh, at all. <laughs> I couldn't care less. I'm so ready to be done with this. This is really frustrating. Oh, it probably wouldn't have been that bad except that I just suck. I am going to draw little things on these coins and they're going to like it. I feel like I'm losing my sanity, but I don't care as long as these things go where they're supposed to go. It's perfect and beautiful and I will hear nothing of the contrary. Dang it, I screwed this up. There's my Mario game. I made box art. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to touch it anymore. I'm done. Shall we move on to the final thing that I'm going to do? So you remember Benjamin. I, at the moment of filming Benjamin, have no idea how I'm going to do Benjamin because, as you can see, I'm not very good at this tool yet. And I intend to create him in 2D with a grease pencil. This doesn't really make a lot of sense to talk about it because you've already seen me do it. So if I was successful, then you've already seen him. So these videos are hard. Please hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying any part of this and I'm struggling. Leave a comment or something. <sighs> I think that this is a phenomenal tool. I'm very, very excited to actually use it for something real and I think that's what I need. That's I think why I'm struggling so much. I'm just kind of trying to figure this out with no real prompt. I'm just trying things. I think I need to actually do a project using the grease pencil, but this was a lot of fun. Despite my frustration, my frustration is just me not knowing how to do the things. I'm like, I know what I want, but how do I get there? Give me ideas, drop me ideas for stuff to do. And if there's anything new in Blender you want me to try or other software, I want to do some more stuff in Unreal Engine and various other things. So please hit the thumbs up if you liked this. It helps with the whole algorithm thing. Thank you. And subscribe if you haven't already. I have a lot of fun stuff coming up. And a huge thank you to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. I would call Benjamin the sponsor frog back in, but he was a lot of work and I don't want to go through any more work, I'm sure, by that point. So, huge thank you to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. Again, if you want to check out the, the links in the description, there's coupons for free stuff for new customers in their stores. So anyways, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.